today is Mr. Paul Williams, Managing Director of All King Mining, ASX Code AKN. Welcome, Paul. Thank you for joining us today. Good morning, Hannah. It's great to be with you. Paul Williams has built an impressive career in corporate law and leadership within the mining sector, earning a reputation as a trusted leader through his strong focus on corporate governance and transparent communication with investment markets. Paul, could you please provide a general summary of the Orking opportunity? Yeah, thanks, Hannah. Yeah, so our company, Orking Mining Limited, AKN is the ASX um, ticker code. Uh, we're a, an exploration company with, with a primary focus on um, uranium projects. We have a, a drill-ready uh, project in southern Tanzania, which we're quite excited about, and I'll get to a little bit later. Uh, an early stage uranium project in Newfoundland, in Canada, which we've recently acquired. Uh, the company also has uh, copper and also a neavium rare earths project in British Columbia. But um, look, there, there's plenty going on, but the, the, the primary focus is the uranium, Hannah, and I suppose with the news in recent days, the Three Mile Island and Microsoft uh, deal uh, and then also overnight, I think uh, there, there was 14 of the world's largest banks, you know, Goldman Sachs, and the, the others, Rothschilds, have all agreed to, you know, pr provide and target uh, financial assistance for the construction of nuclear uh, nuclear energy uh, facilities. And so we're really, you know, quite excited to be in, in a space in terms of you know, uranium exploration, because I think there's there's a lot to happen over the next next few months. Can you please briefly outline the uranium and niobium projects recently acquired in Canada? Yes, yeah, so the, there's the two projects. So the, the niobium rare earths project is called uh, Myoff Creek, Hannah. It's uh, situated in, um, in the British Columbia in Canada. Uh, and, and as you say, we recently acquired that. It's a it's a project area that has had um, previous drilling um, undertaken by by earlier explorers, where there was quite significant neobium and rare earths identified, um, and so we're we're targeting uh, potentially a significant carbonatite mineralized zone at Myoff Creek, and and the access um, there's lots of old timber tracks, um, so access to the site is quite good. Um, Grand Codroy is on the west, the southwestern area of uh, the island of, of Newfoundland, over in the eastern part of Canada. That's a, a, an early stage uranium exploration project. Um, we're quite excited about that because there have been some historical uh, sampling and, and occurrences of uranium up to 22,000 ppm, which is which is quite quite significant. And I, and I would note there's an ASX listed company called Infini Resources to the north of, of our ground, and they're, they're undertaking a massive soil sampling program and, and reporting some very impressive results. So we're, we're hopeful of, of getting onto the, the, the ground of both of those projects in the near future. Okay. How will the funds from the recent rice issue 1.5 million be used, and will the management participate? Yes, yeah, so uh, we, we announced last week, Hannah, uh, a rights issue to existing shareholders, and we're looking to raise just under $1.5 million. Uh, yes, um, existing management will be participating in that rights issue, and obviously we encourage shareholders to do the same. Um, the funding, the, the primary source of funding will be directed towards the Makuju uh, uranium project, the, the drilling, which I'll get to in a moment, but the drilling program at Makuju in southern Tanzania. Um, there's an airborne radiometric survey that we're proposing to carry out at uh, Myoff Creek, uh, a soil sampling program at, um, at Grand Codroy, and then finally with our copper project in Western Australia, Kunji Park, we're looking to allocate some funds to do a small drilling program there, which I can expand on a little bit later. Could you please summarise the Mikuju Uranium project and the upcoming training activities in Tanzania? Yeah, thanks, Hannah. That, it's, it's an excellent opportunity for us and we're, and we're quite excited to be at a position now where 
we've secured all of the internal Tanzanian approvals to um, to proceed with a one particular drilling company. Uh, so, so look, everything's ready to go, subject to securing the, the this last bit of funding. But importantly, Makuju it's situated immediately to the south of a, a, an existing world class uranium deposit called Neota. Uh, it was acquired by the Russian group Uranium One back in 2011 for 1.1 billion dollars. That's back in 2011 term. So it's a substantial project. We're situated immediately to the south of that that pro, uh, that, that deposit. Um, th there's been quite a significant amount of historical uh, sampling and test work done across our ground. And then last year, we carried out quite a detailed sampling uh, program and identified quite significant amounts of uranium. So look, we've, we've devised a drilling program to test the uh, the key areas. One one other point to note, Hannah, is uh, back back when the um, the project was owned by a company called Mantra, they undertook a major radiometric survey across mm -hmm. the whole area, and we've got very very consistent uh, radiometric signals on on our ground as um, occurs with the Neota deposit just to to the north. So we're using both that exercise and our own sampling work last year to to target the the drilling so the the plan would be if if all goes well to to be you know starting the the, the drilling within the next couple of weeks and and being in a position where we can with, with xrf units uh we're also able to access a nearby laboratory at neota uh we we should be able to produce some um, preliminary preliminary results to the market very soon after the drilling starts. So look, it's uh, in the context of what's happening with uranium at the moment, we're, we're, we're really very keen to get started on this program. Thank you. What are the goals of the Kongji Park Copper and Zinc Draining Program in Western Australia and its potential impact on the San Diego deposit? Yeah, so so Kunji Park is a, is a project that we've we've worked on. We've spent over eight million dollars on that project over the last three years. Uh, we own one hundred percent of the project, subject to a one percent net smelter royalty. Um, so we, we've done an extensive amount of drilling, uh, primarily on two known deposits, Oneidan and San Diego, uh, and and then furthermore, uh, also a project called Email. But between the three projects, San Diego and Oneidan. We've got about nine million tons at one percent copper, and and email has about 12, 12 point two million tons at a lower grade of about two point a point two seven percent copper. So, uh, it, it's the project uh, was the subject of a scoping study last year, where we um, announced to the market some very promising um, uh, economic uh, analysis at uh, obviously at a scoping study level. Um, and and our focus now is really to try and expand the existing tons. And so the real potential at Kunji Park, there's a, a pro, what, as I say, one of the main deposits is called uh, San Diego. There's a 700 metre corridor to the north of that San Diego deposit that has largely been unexplored. And we've identified some soil geochemistry, which is very anomalous for copper across that 700 metre zone. So we're proposing to do some RC drilling um, through that 700 uh, metre corridor. And if and if successful, we're, we're potentially in a position to significantly increase the San Diego resource. So so that in itself is, is, is quite exciting, even though, as we say, you know, the uranium is the primary focus, but we're, we're not, and I'm not, not turning a blind eye to the copper. Yeah. What is the expected upside from the upcoming geophysical survey at the My Off Greek project in Canada? Will drilling begin soon? Well, that's uh, the, the uh, airborne radiometric survey at uh, My Off Creek. Is, uh, the historical drilling was really only undertaken in the northern part of the, uh, of the tenure area that we have at My Off Creek. It runs almost sort of in a north-south direction and there's about a six six kilometer um, strike length. So we're looking to confirm um, some historical mapping 
in the area, but but seeking to confirm a carbonatite mineralization all the way along that that tenure area using this radiometric um, survey. But but then obviously, you know, knowing what we already know from the historical drilling in the north, that should give us a good pointer in terms of what the rest of the um, the mineralization looks like. So yeah, and then as you say, Hannah, that. The next step would be to um, to commence some drilling. More than likely, that won't happen until early next year now because if you're moving into the winter conditions up there. Thank you so much for sharing. So last question from me. What are the next steps for the Grand Kodroyo Uranium Project and how do you view its exploration prospects? Yes, yeah, so Grand Kodroy, um, we've just recently acquired that that project, as I mentioned, it's a very early stage uranium opportunity. Uh, the, the the features that we you know we really like about it are some historic uh, uranium occurrences. Uh, the fact that Infini Resources, another ASX listed company, is is producing some uh, very um, significant results from their own soil program. So the first thing we would do is uh, carry out a, a soil sampling program ourselves and the intention would be to get that up and going uh, rather quickly that the access to the site uh, there's a there's a, a town an, an old port town called Port of Basque um, in in that part of Newfoundland uh, there's a there's a highway that that runs right through our uh, tenure area so access should not be a significant problem for us so get on the ground take some samples and and once again be in a position to report those to the market um, rather quickly, and then um, make a determination once those samples are back about a, about a drilling program once again early next year. Thank you so much. That's all of today. Thank you so much for your time. We're looking forward to hearing more updates from you in the future. Thank you, Hannah. Appreciate your time. Thank you for your time. See you next time.